Wow, look at that. It's very tight. <laughs> I think I may have found my favorite flat iron from the drugstore, you guys. We are starting off this video in my bathroom because I'm getting ready and I have this hair tool that I wanna test out. Most of the time with the products that I test out are behind the scenes, behind the camera, I don't record them. But today I really wanna share with you guys how it works because I'm excited. It's budget friendly, it's under $50. It's a flat iron that has titanium plates. How cool is that? You guys know my love for titanium plates and any hair tool. They're amazing for you, they're less damaging, and I'm so excited because I love Conair. This is the Conair Infinity Pro, and this is their Rainbow Titanium Flat Iron. Really great reviews, so hopefully this is gonna be one of the better budget-friendly flat irons that if you don't wanna spend the $230 on the flat iron that I love, the Bioionic, this could be a really, really great contender. Oh, look how pretty she is! She is pretty, very sleek, I like that. The rainbow plates are beautiful. Let's see the temperature control. So already just opening up the package, I already know what my least favorite thing about this product is. It's the temperature control. It's this little dial that goes from one to 30. I don't like that. Just give me what the temperature is going to be. The highest heat this flat iron goes is up to 455 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't need that type of heat for my hair, so we're gonna stick to the lower end, I think maybe around 10. So I'm looking at the temperature setting guide. It doesn't actually tell you the temperatures. It just tells you low, medium, medium, high, high, and then maximum. And then it gives you what type of hair type you should be in within the heat setting or temperature control. So I really don't like the fact that they don't give me the actual temperature number, but I'm just going to turn it on and use my meat thermometer this one's really good, it's a digital thermometer, and just touch the plate and see how hot it is. Right here in the front of the box, it says 1515 second heat up. That is really fast. So I'm going to time it, we're gonna turn it on, and I'm going to be, like I said, around nine, 10. Let's go, I'm gonna turn on to 10, the little dial temperature control, and we're gonna hold it, turn it on, it's blinking and we're gonna time it. So 15 seconds, you guys, let's look at the mark. 15 seconds have gone by, it's still blinking. It was roughly around 37, 38 seconds. All right, so let's take my thermometer and I'm just gonna clamp it right here. So it's saying roughly 316, I think it's gonna go up to 320. It just keeps rising. 320, it just keeps getting hotter, you guys. Slowing down, 323.8, and it stopped rising. You guys know the drill? I'm just gonna section off my hair. So I'm going to create waves, but then with some of the waves, I just wanna quickly straighten it and see how well the straightener portion works because it's a flat iron. <laughs> but I don't really straighten my hair. Ever since I started using my Dyson with the different attachments, I think it looks sleek enough, so I don't really straighten my hair. All right, let's do this. Just grab a section, I'm gonna start from the back. Just bring it down, clamp it. It's pulling my hair a little bit. All right, you guys, come look at this. It's right there at the very top. The plates, the hair gets stuck. That's what I was feeling and hearing when some of the hair was getting pulled out, it's getting stuck at the top of the plates. I think because there's a little gap, well, it's not that little, you can see it. There's a gap between the plates and then the actual flat iron packaging, whatever you wanna call it. But be careful, so I'm gonna take a little bit of a smaller section so it doesn't pull out my hair. One thing I do wanna say, with new hair tools, usually, it starts smelling as if something is burning or like plastic is burning. So far, nothing is smelling, which I'm very happy about. So just clamp it very gently, wrap it around once, and then twice, and then very gently, just bring it down. Wow, look at that. It's very tight. <laughs> you know what, let me straighten this end. Let's see how that works. Wow, it's very smooth on the hair. You guys see how smooth that is? Wow. I'm very impressed. GHD smooth? I think it's actually smoother than the GHD. Like I'm barely putting any pressure on and it's just gliding down. And that's what I really wanna feel and see with flat irons. Look at that. 
with one swipe. Okay, I am very impressed besides pulling out the hair, but I kind of figured out, take a little bit of a smaller section and make sure you don't bring it towards the very top, kind of start towards the middle of the plates so it's easier to curve. All right, I'm just gonna quickly do this, finish this off. And I am keeping all the curls going the same direction, which is away from my face. <laughs> I think I may have found my favorite flat iron from the drugstore, you guys. All right, so as I'm doing this, it's a really good flat iron, but I'm starting to notice that my hair is looking really frizzy and my hair was not frizzy when I began. So you guys see this right here? Look, 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 look at this. I don't know what's happening here. Why is it starting to look super frizzy? So I think for this top section, I'm gonna take one of the sides Bioionic and then the other side, the Conair, and see what happens. I turned the temperature down to nine, so it's not running as hot. I'm gonna do this left side with the Conair and then the right side with the Bioionic. I'm gonna share with you guys the Seek Thermal camera. We're down to 220, which is good. So we're at least 20 degree difference. So what I'm noticing with this, if you're taking a lot smaller section, like for example, what I just did, I have to twist it at least three times just because the plates, they're floating, creating a bigger gap than usual. So I'm twisting it three times instead of one to one and a half. So once, twice, and then a third time. Yeah, it's like, it's frizzy. Do you guys see that? Wow, that is frizzy. All right, let's see what this looks like. All right, so moving on to the right side. The hair, see what I mean? It looks really nice and smooth. It's not frizzy. And this side, we're doing the Bioionic 10X. This is their flat iron. It's one inch as well. And I have a set to 340 degrees Fahrenheit. And I did turn on the vibrating plates because I love that feature. It just basically makes sure that your hair goes really smooth through the plates. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a reason why I love the Bioionic so much. It's just so good. If you think this is butter, this is like melted butter. <laughs> All right, let's look at it and make sure I got everything. <laughs> Good? Mm-hmm. All right, hey, before I brush it out, let's quickly look at it. And yeah, the left side is looking a lot frizzier than the right side. I feel like with the Bioionic, it looks a little bit more polished and sleek. I mean, I think they both look great. Obviously, they look very similar, similar results. But yeah, the Conairs, I don't know what, but it's looking really, really frizzy. So I'm gonna brush my hair out. And obviously, I only did the top section for the Bioionic on this side. I just really wanted to see what it would look like. Yeah, this side just looks more polished and even. I mean, overall, 
I'm still very happy with the Con Air. I mean, for the price, that's amazing. I haven't found anything as close to that yet. So, so far, definitely one of the best I have tried. You can definitely add some oils to your hair to kind of calm the frizz down. I'm just gonna let my hair settle and do its thing. So comparing it to the Bioionic, obviously they're very different price ranges, but still there is nothing that compares to this just because it has really great technology and I love the vibrating plates that helps with the hair move through very, very easily through the plates. With this, I think this is very comparable to like the T3 GHD flat irons just because it is so smooth and I love the titanium plates. It has more even heat distribution because of the titanium plates. I really appreciate that. The only negative I do have to say, two negatives. The temperature control and then the plates at the very top, how they have gap. And if you're not careful, your hair can get really stuck. But overall, do I recommend it? Yes, it is great. I think you will love it. And they do have a thicker version as well if you don't want such a thin flat iron. Let me know if you guys like these really quick reviews behind the scenes while I'm getting ready. Let me know if you guys wanna see more. I really like that and I really wanted to share this product with you guys because I think it's a great product. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I love you all very much. Bye.